Hey guys, Denise Salcedo here for the Red Carpet Report, and today we're going to be talking to the top 12 finalists on The Voice Season 10. How are you guys doing? This was such a crazy diet day. The first time you guys felt the pressure on stage of possibly being eliminated. How do you guys feel right now? We'll start with you. Well, I've already been eliminated, so yeah, <laughs> the pressure was, I mean, there was a lot of pressure there, but I think mostly it was excitement mm -hmm. and really taking in that moment because, like I said, I've, well, I've already gone home, so I know what it's like, I know what it's like to go home, and this time, the second time around, I've just really been uh, more invested in everything and kind of having a better time and taking it less serious because at the end of the day, everyone's going to go home, and it, it's just what about what you gain from this experience moving forward. I have to add, you had a very emotional exit the first time around, and when Pharrell brought you back, how was that? Like, I know what, from a viewer standpoint, I was like, oh my god, yes, but how did you feel about that? I was excited. That day, the knockout day, that was just exhausting. I, it just, everything just kept, it was like the worst luck ever. Just one thing would happen, one thing would happen, then there's no steals left, and then another thing would happen, and then they kept pushing it back, and then they had to go to lunch, and... So that was just a storm of emotion, and I was gonna. I said, I'm going on stage, and I'm gonna put my heart on the stage, no matter what happens. They changed the pairings. Then I was paired against Allison the night before, and I was like, I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best. And I think Pharrell it really resonated with him, and he came and right after I performed, he talked to me for about 15, 20 minutes after the performance. And I know they don't show that all on TV, but. And then we talked after, I just like told him he was my hero, and he's like, you should still be here. Yes. If I had a steal, you would still be here. And then, and I'm back. Awesome, and Pharrell is <laughs> one of the best mentors, I have to say. Hannah, how did you feel on stage, possibly getting that feeling that you might be going home, and then getting your name called? Yeah, <laughs> um, I just had a moment of thinking about all the people I've met, and how grateful I was to stand next to these really talented individuals, exceptionally talented individuals, and I don't know, I didn't expect to make it this far. I did a audition a million years ago and didn't think anything would happen, and I made it this far, and it's just an honor. I don't know. It, I can't believe I'm still here. I'm on a red carpet. And you have your students back home. Is there a message that you would like to say to them now that you're advancing to the top 12? Yeah, absolutely. Constantly just believing in 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 your dream, whether it's big or small, and I think always being true to yourself. I think that's one thing is I want every student of mine to feel like they are absolutely special and everything about them is just so unique. And they're all just so different and it's, gonna, it's just awesome. And I, what's really cool is I get to work with Pharrell who really stands for that. Um, so that's really cool for me and to show the kids that these things are attainable if you just work hard. and. You know, we be yourself. It. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for talking thank to us, you guys. Congratulations, you so and I can't thank wait you. to continue seeing both of you go up on that ladder, make awesome. it to the end. Thank, thank you, guys. You Take care. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching our coverage of The Voice. Make sure to give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. And in the comments below, let us know who is your favorite on the top 12. Awesome. Super cool.